Yeah, I got Where's my foot. So you guys have it right in your jacket. You have to sit tight. Well, it's like we just sit here and hold it. Well, the only thing is. Okay, now you're gonna you're gonna have to make sure you stay out of the shot with your camera, but point it so that it's pointing at them. The tip of it is pointing. You need that too. Okay. As long as they don't stroke it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you it might get longer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mouthy. Oh. Kim, I'll give you the one last oh. question to you when you need to pull out. Is that. he gonna be in the shot? Okay. The first shot. You need to get a little bit. Closer, just okay. a little bit tighter in. Okay. Alright, check it out. Alright. Yeah. Who is it? Turn it's around. It's our new shirt. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. Very, very nice. That's the first time you've got feet, huh? Yeah. yeah we've got Party some approval on this one. We just got it today. Those are nice. Well, am I, am I any closer? Yes, maybe. I'll work with you. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Yep. Alrighty. Here we go. Welcome to MTR TV. My name is Stevie D, and this is Backstage Pass. This week, we're in Kalamazoo, Michigan, at the State Theater with Perry. Vampire. Just have a few questions for you guys tonight. Um, first off, since the release, what have you guys been doing? What uh, with the tour, and, and I know this is your first night with Slaughter, but tell me what's been going on. Well, we've been shooting videos and we have been touring constantly, and that's pretty much taken up most of our time. We've been on the road from one end of the country to the other, and uh, we're going to do about two weeks with Slaughter. Then we're heading to Japan for two weeks, and when we come back, we're hooking up with David Lee Roth and Cinderella. All right. Okay. Now, are you guys uh, going to be doing any smaller clubs on your nights off or anything like that in the works? Well, at this sure, point? we probably will. Okay. Um, like you said, right after we do this, we go to Japan, and then we come back to the David Ross Cinderella thing, and then mm -hmm. after that, probably do some clubs here and there, and then hopefully wait for something else bigger to come along. Excellent. What uh, what led up to, to Firehouse? I, I've heard a lot of stories. I know you all come from different kind of bands. Can you just tell us the story of how you all came together? Mr. Beal, well, you know, these, two, these two lovely, <laughs> lovely lads here were in a band called Max Warrior. And mm -hmm. these finer lads here were in a band called White Heat. Yay! <laughs> and, uh, well, we used to go see those guys, and they, they were a great band. And we used to always say, man, if we could get these two guys in our band, and they'd come and we'd see us. We'd say the same thing. We'd say the same thing about But about we were better. If we had two more <laughs> like us, we'd be in our band. <laughs> <laughs> well, one day, uh, for them. you know, their band kind of kind of broke up, so I gave CJ a call, and I sent him a couple of songs, and, and I said, well, let's call me back and just tell me what you think about them. And he called back and he said, I, was I really away. like this song. But I was blown this. away. So we got together and we started writing some songs, and uh, that's how we got started. We did some recording. That was all she wrote. Oops. <laughs> now, now, where does the uh, Mark Slaughter, Dana Strum, and the John Bon Jovi, what roles did they play in either your signing or getting started? They played the Tootsie Roll. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the Jelly Roll. John Bon Jovi played the Jelly Roll. Okay. The, they, well, uh, yeah. well but, I was working at okay. a music store. We first met John, and um, I, I got a tape backstage to him through a promotion that the music store was doing. In 1987? Yeah, and, uh, and John took an interest in the band. He, he liked the tape, he, he liked what he heard, and um, he said he thought we had what it took to make it. And so it just gave us confidence in ourselves. You know, when you're trying to make something happen in this business, you get a lot of doors slammed in your face, but when you have a guy like John Bon Jovi who says, I like you guys, and uh, a lot of times you feel like, well, you know, we do have something here, and, and it gives you confidence. And uh, Terry, I'll tell you about the slaughter connection. Yeah, the Mark and Dana produced our demos, which was like two years ago, and uh, we went out to LA. That was before they had gotten the Slaughter band together. They were still in Vinnie Vincent Invasion. And uh, we got a tape to them in Charlotte. They were coming through playing. And we had an independent deal at the time. And uh, so we got them a tape, and they said, hey, you guys are cool. We'll come out to LA. We'll do a demo. We did the demos and uh, ended up shopping the tape and got the deal with CBS. So we've been friends with those guys for about two years now. We all stayed in a two-bedroom apartment, slept on the floor in sleeping bags and stuff. And they were actually auditioning. They had boxes and boxes 
of tapes and pictures from drummers and uh, bass uh, guitar players, and they were looking for, which is now Blouse and Tim, they found them, and uh, they then became Slaughter, what, about three months after we left. Yeah. And uh, during the time that we were shopping with tape two, Bon Jovi would come to our shows and he'd watch videotapes with us at the shows and critique them and, you know, give us pointers here and there. And say, great. Say, that sucked. Well, that was great. You know, do more of that. So I would say, that's your opinion. <laughs> it was also nice because we got to hang out with, with uh, John. Of course, we, you know, we lived with the guys in Slaughter a, a while, so we got to to know them. They had a lot of experience and we got to hang out with John a lot. And John also took CJ on the road with him. And, Fooling around in a Bon Jovi plane, and we got to party with Skid Row guys. That was fun and too. So it's a great learning experience. I mean, we've had some good teachers. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you, uh, based on your experiences over the last couple of years, what kind of advice would you guys give younger bands trying to get started? Even though you're still a young. Be band. persistent. Okay. Play all original. I mean, don't go into these clubs. You know, doing what club owners want you to do, which is play cover tunes. You know. Right. Just uh, get yourself a four track or whatever and just work and work, you know. Okay. Right and, and right. You know. Anything to add, CJ? It pretty much covers it, you know. Don't be uh, depressed or, or don't give up if you get knocked down a time or two. Just pick yourself back up again, brush off the dirt, and go for it one more time. Okay. How about you, Perry? The main thing is to stick with it. We've been at this many, many, many years. Um, a lot of people are. Uh, starting to band, they get a little, you know, the little local thing happening and, and they just like give up, they'll cut their hair off and go get the job at the bank or whatever, but if this is what you want to do, you really have to stick with it because you got to put up with a lot of, of um, crap and um, you have to sacrifice a lot, you know, you, and you just got to hang in there and uh, it'll come. We've been trying this for 57 years now, but through the modern technology of plastic surgery, it's possible. Yeah. Well, I still got a backhand right? <laughs> Now, as far as the firehouse sound goes, um, I hate to, to use the word influences, but can you guys go around and, and tell me some of your influences, even in your playing? Diet Coke. <laughs> uh, uh, I have many. You know, when I was younger, I used to listen to, to Elvis records all the time because my, my mom and my dad was into Elvis. But um, as I got older, I guess Kiss was my biggest one, and then on Van Halen. It's like Alex Van Halen could do no wrong, you know. And now it's probably like Motley Crue and Queens right and stuff like that. Okay, Bill? Uh, my influences is, is everybody else's are very diverse. You know, I started off with uh, like Stevie Wonder, uh -huh. uh, old soul records like that. Then I got into uh, Led Zeppelin. And then uh, I got into a fusion stage there with uh, Al Dimiola, Alan Holdsworth, Steve Morse. Guys like that, Larry Carlton, stuff like that, and then um, it was uh, Ted Nugent and Eddie Van Halen and Randy Rhodes. Okay. And uh, now it's you know Steve Vai, Joe Satriani. So everyone who's picked up a guitar, basically. In yeah, your everybody right. that's cool. Everybody that plays guitar. <laughs> Roy Clark. <laughs> Roy Clark. <laughs> Sold away. Roy Clark's band. He's also from Virginia. He's very quick. Yeah. yeah. Um, CJ, as far as your vocal style, would you? I, I hate to ask lead singers who they compare themselves to, but can you give me an answer on that? I could answer that. I've been compared to, uh, instead of me giving you what I think, uh, I'll tell you a lot of people okay. have told me. I've heard uh, Michael Sweet, the Striper, mm -hmm. and Dennis DeYoung, and uh, I've heard David Lee Roth, <laughs> I guess from the screams and okay. stuff that I do on the record. Uh, so it's really, really a broad spectrum. Which right. means that a lot of people hear a lot of different singers in my voice, so it's probably unique. You ought to hear him do Mariah Carey. Ah, <laughs> good and <in> love. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Perry, and I'll veer a little bit away from that question. Maybe you can answer okay. this. How would you categorize a Firehouse record? Um, would you say it's heavy metal, hard rock, if you had to? Yeah, I'd probably just put it in the hard rock category. I wouldn't think it would be metal. It's um, Probably a lot more melodic than your basic metal record would be. It's a, it's a vocal oriented record more than a drum and guitar oriented record thing. So, although those are prominent also. Oh, you know. You know well, we're 50%. Hey. Yeah. yeah. And drums are bad. These guys do the, the drums. If we didn't have him as a drummer, 
we'd probably been gold by now. <laughs> <laughs> we'd be um, double platinum. <laughs> How about the next video or next release? Can you tell us about uh, anything that's in the planning stages right now or something we've just done? Yes, next single. This is Love of the Life. Just Enjoy. about it. We've already shot a video for that, too. You don't consider it all more. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful that's film. Oh, lateral pass, lateral pass. <laughs> ah, reception. It's a beautiful video. It's um, lots of uh, imagery. You know, it's not a whole lot of, um, you know, on-stage performance. It's like lots of wind blowing and some curtains. And, and just the, the, it captured each one of us as individuals uh, when we're playing. And um, I think it's really going to be a, a really good hit for us because I think the song, uh, it, it hits people young and old and male and female. And uh, it's just a beautiful song. Did and you guys have a lot of input on the video? Yeah, we sure did. Uh, the director's name is Mark Resica. And he was phenomenal to work with. He was one of the nicest guys in the world. And he uh, he said, "Hey, this is your video. You know, here's my idea of of what I think would look good with this. What do you guys think?" And we sat down and had dinner about it. And the next day, shot it, and uh, we're just really happy with it. And I'd like to ask one last question before we tie things up. If one of your fans were to describe your sound in one word, what word would you like that to be? I'll start with you, Michael. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> I guess just melodic, okay. melodic hard rock. All right, great drums. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's two okay. words. <laughs> that's two words. <laughs> okay, how about you? Well, I think, uh, just for lack of a better word, it would have to be eargasmic. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Okay. That? I'd say uh, dynamic. All right, and Perk? Uh, intense. I guess would be a good word. All right. My name. We'll, we'll go back. We're going to edit this, so you want to come back out? Yeah, let me come out to a... Okay, I'm going to yeah. go from you guys and then to you. And then, I, can you guys do a promo for sure, the show? Sure. Okay. We usually have two cameras, one on me, one on you. Can you promise? We're kind of limited. Right. With a band? Um, it's MTR TV, your, your metal thrash rock connection. Well, we're going to end it up first, aren't oh, we? Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, wait. I'm going to start with you and then go to them, all right? Okay, that's fine. You've been watching MTR-TV, your metal thrash rock connection. My name's Stevie D. This is another edition of Backstage Path. Thank you for joining me, Perry, CJ, Bill. Oh, damn! <laughs> <laughs> I'll try that again. Leave us okay. in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just in the Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. You've been watching MTR-TV and another edition of Backstage Path. My name's Stevie D. I want to thank Perry. CJ, Bill, and Michael from Firehouse for joining me this evening. Join us next week for more Rock and Rollers. See ya. See, See ya. ya. <laughs> 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 hi. Right. Say, I'm with a band and I'm with a band. <laughs> That's her stage no, no, name. I gotta get over there. Do you want to do that? Guys I want to do a promo. Part of our show? Yes, sure. She's this, this poser skit. Oh, posers and groupies well, we rip like, on. It's yeah. pretty funny. She's with a band. Her name is spelled with a band. Hey, I think I like it. And then Michael could be holding your head and like feeding you some grapes. That's our next show. We're gonna get by the pool. We have these. Two muscle pound guys fanning us. <laughs> Leonard will love it, but hey. So what do you want me to do? Huh? Why don't you just stay across here? Oh, She's a big woman. I'll squish you guys. We'll squish you. We'll squish you. Volumptious. Volumptious? Volumptious. Does anybody know about my lumps? Come down, darling. Get over there, darling. <laughs> Put your legs over top of that thing there. Okay. Yes, I'm going to squish you. Oh, no, no, you're won't. not. I won't. Slay down and take the legs over. I'm saying no to these four gorgeous people. <laughs> no, okay. no, you're not. No, you're not. Hard to believe. Oh, Drop your legs over there. Okay. But you can't, you can't block any of their... I'm not going to block anything. Okay, now, Michael, you've got to lay down. Let's try. Oh, God. I got the best, best spot here. Looks good. Okay. Um, what are we going to say? Just say... Go, Hi, I'm with a band, and I'm with a band. I'm just going to say, this is Firehouse, and you're watching MTR TV, your only choice for metal, thrash, and rock. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey. Ready? Hey. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hi, this is with a band, and I'm uh, with a band. <laughs> 
Well, uh, we're standing here, sitting here, uh, laying here with the firehouse, and uh, you are watching MTR TV, the only choice for metal, thrash, rock, and long haired men. Alright. I have to move now. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you're watching MTR TV and we all go Metal Thrash Rock Connection. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Yo, this is Michael. This is Bill. CJ. And Perry. A Firehouse. And you're watching MTR TV, your Metal Thrash Rock Connection. Yeah. Woo! That's good. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Just for one quick second, just go. Hi, Leonard. Just yeah. Hi. Yo, Leonard. Yo, hey. Leonard. Yo, What's up, bro? What's man? Man? How you doing? Good to see you, man. <laughs> you miss you. Good. We'll see you soon. No, yeah. That's all I get. Yeah.